Jury selection began this morning in the trial of Mark Jensen, the Pleasant Prairie man convicted in 2008 of murdering his wife back in 1998. But that conviction was vacated about two years ago. Bruce Harrison has been in court this morning and he joins us now live from outside the Kenosha County Courthouse with more on today's proceedings. Bruce. Tom, good afternoon. I was in court. Mark Jensen, he sat at the defense table in a dark gray suit and tie and throughout much of the hearing, especially during breaks, he was in high spirits and perhaps there's good reason to be right now. A key piece of evidence that led to his conviction many years ago will not be allowed in court this time around. Now, going back some years, Mr. Jensen was first convicted of first degree intentional homicide in 2008. That was for the 1998 murder of his wife, Julie Jensen. Key to that conviction, a letter his wife wrote to a neighbor stating she believed her husband was going to kill her. Experts say Julie Jensen was poisoned to death. Now, following appeals, Jensen's conviction was overturned, then reinstated. And much of that back and forth had to do with Julie Jensen's letter. Courts now have argued, though, that Julie's letter and other incriminating statements she made, they violate Jensen's constitutional rights because he's unable to face his accuser. The current judge in this case, Anthony Milosowski, says that letter will not be allowed into evidence in court this time around. His courtroom right behind me here in Kenosha. And right now, court's in recess for lunch. We expect jury selection to continue about one o'clock and it shouldn't be too uh, long down the road this week that we see opening statements in this new trial for Mark Jensen. Tom?